This lesson overviews how to set up a holiday on the system. Holidays are specific days in the year when a standard schedule does not apply. For example, New Year's Day is a holiday that often falls on a weekday, so the office is closed to employees. This means that the normal schedule would not apply on this day. Note that only operators with the right permissions can set holidays on the system. After completing this training, you'll be able to set up a holiday on the system. To configure a holiday, begin by clicking here. The drop-down list loads. Let's look at this option now. The holidays page loads, displaying a table of the holidays configured on the system. The name of the holiday is listed in this column. Click on the name to edit the holiday. The date of the holiday appears here. And the type of holiday appears in this column. Note that the system can support up to eight different holidays. The holiday type is a number from one to eight, where the number's significance is user-defined. Up to eight holidays, such as government, cultural, and company holidays can be defined. Click here to delete the holidays from the system, and click here to add a new holiday. In this demonstration, we will add a new holiday. The Add New Holiday page loads. First, name the holiday. In this demonstration, we have given the holiday this name. Then, enter the date of the holiday in this field. The calendar loads. Select the date of the holiday. In this case, New Year's Day is the 1st of January. Some holidays are longer than one day. For example, American Thanksgiving is often combined with Black Friday to make a two-day holiday. To make a two-day holiday, use this field. Because New Year's Day is not a two-day holiday, we will leave this field unchanged. In this demonstration, we will define this holiday as Type 1. We're defining it as Type 1 because a Type 1 holiday on our system is for national holidays. Administrators can classify holidays into types. Type 1, for example, can be reserved for national holidays. Type 2 holidays can be reserved for company-specific days off, such as a Christmas closure or break, and so on. Once you define the holiday type, you can create schedules that match the level of access required for each of these types. In this demonstration, we are defining it as Type 1. In this demonstration, we will leave this checkbox unchanged. Now, save the configuration by clicking here. The holiday is saved and displays in the table. Now decide to either set your schedules to ignore the holiday or to observe the holiday. First, click here to do this. Then, click here. Now, select the schedule. In this demonstration, we will select this schedule. We define New Year's Day as Holiday Type 1. In this demonstration, we want the schedule to observe the holiday, so we will leave these checkboxes clear. This means that all Type 1 holidays, including New Year's Day, will be applied to the schedule. To repeat, leaving these boxes unchecked applies the holiday to the schedule. If you want the schedule to ignore the holiday type, then you must click the checkbox. In other words, when you click these checkboxes, you will activate the schedule for those holidays. Then, save the configuration by clicking here. The schedule is now updated to include New Year's Day. So, on the 1st of January, the holiday will be applied to the schedule. In other words, the schedule will become inactive during that holiday type, and employees cannot access the doors to the space. Remember to set the schedule to this mode for it to work according to the configuration. To sum up, the Holidays page displays all the defined holidays on the system. From this page, you can add, edit, or delete holidays. When adding a new holiday, name it and enter the date it begins. Also, enter how many additional days the holiday is. If the holiday is only one day, leave the relevant field unchanged, then select the type of holiday. Then, in the Schedules page, Set specific schedules to ignore the holiday type by clicking the relevant checkboxes, if applicable. Otherwise, holiday types are automatically applied to all schedules.